From July, the hashtag Ken must go has been up in Ghana Twitter trends. As of 7 December, the hashtag generated 465 million impressions from over 9,600 users. A counter narrative hashtag Ken must stay, hashtag Ken vindicated, emerged in November, also staying high up in the Ghana Twitter trends. An investigation into the two hashtags showed that one of the hashtags was a false trend. If you want to know which one is false and which one is organic, follow Jojo Kovana in this report, who basically queried influences behind these tweets. We are not going to the IMF. Whatever we do, we are not. The consequences are there. We are a proud nation. We have the resources. We have the capacity. We are not people of short sight. We will not go to the IMF today. We will not go to IMF tomorrow. And we are not going as long as the NPP remains in power. You heard the Finance Minister Ken Furiata and Deputy Finance Minister John Kuma. They were cocksure that Ghana would never go to the International Monetary Fund for a bailout. So when President Nana Kufado announced that Ghana would engage the IMF for a bailout on 1st July 2022, many Ghanaians clamored for the resignation of Kenneth Furiata. At 7 a.m. on 2nd July 2022, at Obeng Apa, posted on Twitter, It must be tough for at Nane Kufuadu right now, knowing that you don't have the cojones to sack your finance minister, who is clearly your undoing, simply because he's your relative. That was when the hashtag Ken Masko was born. The hashtag trended for days on Twitter. As of 7th December 2022, about 22,739 total tweets were garnered. 4,833 of the tweets were original and 13,967 were retweeted. 2,097 were quoted tweets while 1,842 were replies. Analysis of the Ken Mashko hashtag revealed that Mr. Foriata received a lot of Twitter mentions whenever the city underperformed and fuel prices spiked. On 25th October 2022, 85 majority MPs shockingly held a press conference demanding the immediate sacking or resignation of Mr. Kenny Foriata. In the interest of our side of government to remove our minister, but whatever it takes for the government to put in place the right measures, if it requires removing all the cabinet ministers and setting up a new government, we will support it. The Ken must go hashtag caught fire and trended for days. There seemed to be an organic rise of public opinion on why Ken must go, and it peaked at 7,633 Twitter mentions on 25th October 2022. Anytime the city depreciated, many users inundated Twitter with messages calling on the finance minister to be sacked or resign. Over 9,600 users tweeted the hashtag and this generated about 465 million impressions. The most influential user of the Ken Masko hashtag was MP for Notong Samuel Okujeto Ablakwa tweeting under the username S underscore Okujeto Ablak. He used the hashtag eight times and garnered 1,738 retweets. In the heat of the clamor for the resignation or sacking of the finance minister, musician and social media activist Kwame Plus tweeted, We must begin a campaign to force the president to sack Mr. Ken Furiata. Every professional association, civil society organization, workers' union and influential people in Ghana and abroad must be part of the campaign. Unquote. An unidentifiable Twitter user, Hitka Shine, responded, Hashtag Ken Must Stay. This marked the beginning of the counter narrative Ken Must Stay. Many users pushing the Ken Must Stay narratives were faceless and cannot easily be identified. Some of the accounts were created in October 2022. These accounts only tweeted Ken Must Stay content. The most retweeted Ken Must Stay tweet was sent out by at Messi King Kong on 19th November 2022. The tweet garnered 129 retweets and 151 likes. We identified 61 accounts involved in coordinated sharing of specific messages on Twitter using the hashtag KenMustStay. The seemingly scripted tweet 
shared by these accounts contained content extolling the finance minister's economic management prowess, urging him on to stay in office. Some of the scenarios are... The message, quote, Undoubtedly, the Ministry of Finance is committed to working alongside all stakeholders to ensure we can reposition our economy back on a path of growth and prosperity. Finance Minister Ken Ofuriata, hashtag Ken Vindicated, hashtag Clueless NDC, hashtag Ken Must Stay. The Breakdown. We identified 47 distinct accounts that tweeted the message 75 times. This means that certain accounts tweeted a message more than once. Quote, carefully observing the ad hoc committee's questions, it's obvious. Hashtag Ken must stay because the allegations all be useless and empty. Hashtag trust Ken to deliver, unquote. The breakdown. 34 distinct accounts tweeted a message 40 times. Again, certain accounts tweeted a message more than once. Quote, interestingly, the censure hearing has inured positively to the image of the finance minister. Hashtag Ken must stay. Hashtag Ken vindicated. Hashtag clueless NDC, unquote. The breakdown. 25 distinct accounts tweeted the message 27 times. This means that certain accounts tweeted the message more than once. Quote, even if you hate him, you can learn from his eloquence, coherence, and calm demeanor. Hashtag Ken must stay. Hashtag Ken vindicated. Hashtag clueless NDC. Unquote. The breakdown. 15 distinct accounts tweeted the message 16 times. This means that certain accounts tweeted the message more than once. Who are the key drivers of Ken Maste? Number one, at Messi King Kong, this account is a faceless, unidentifiable user who has 1,123 followers and follows 1,579 Twitter accounts. The account sent out 99 tweets with Ken Maste. The second one is at Kuma Kojo. This account sent out 49 tweets with the Ken Maste hashtag. It retweeted several tweets by at Messi King Kong, at Fabulous Ike, at Bengelo17, at Kweku Brownies, and at Ahika Doreen, all of whom were previously identified as major drivers of the Ken Must Stay narrative. Now the verdict. The Ken Must Go conversation on Twitter appeared to be relatively organic. The hashtag was tweeted by over 9,600 Twitter users. The political characters that drove this narrative on Twitter are well known, and as members of the opposition, their stance on the matter is understandable. This narrative on Twitter mirrored what appears to be the general sentiment of most Ghanaians at that time. Even MPP MPs called for Kenuforiata to be sacked. The Ken Must Stay narrative was largely inorganic. The coordinated sharing of scripted messages exposed in this work is evidence of this accession. The hashtag was tweeted by 292 Twitter users. Most of the accounts that were involved in the sharing of Ken Maste narrative are closely linked. They follow each other, mention each other, and retweet each other's tweets. This is just one example of how social media is used to amplify certain narratives to make them appear more widespread than they actually are. Jojo Kobner, Joy News. Hashtag Ken must stay when it trends, query the tweets. Go to myjoyonline.com for the full report.